Many communities struggle with the idea of people joining their server and then never clicking on it again. It's mainly because they just don't onboard them correctly and this fancy introduction system is a tool that you can use to instantly engage your members and keeps your introduction channel nice and tidy. So to start, simply click the first link in the description and it will take you to Sapphire's homepage where you can click add to discord and select your server along with accept all the permissions. For Yank PDB, click the second link in the description, select server on the top right and click your server and just accept all of the permissions again. Now for this system to work, we're going to be creating a role which will be granted once people type within this introduction channel. So we'll do that in the server settings, roles and click create role, give it a name and we need to make sure that it's higher than the everyone role or your verification role, otherwise the permissions will not work. Now in our introduction channel, we just need to add this new role that we just created to our permissions and make it so that they can view the channel, can't send messages and can read message history. If you have a members or verification role, you want to ignore setting anything for that send message option, so keep this unselected, and on the everyone role, make it so that they can send messages. It's weird, but that's just how it has to be set up for this to work. Now we're gonna head over to YagPDB's dashboard, and within our server, we're gonna create a custom command. We'll switch the trigger type to rejects and the trigger to full stop asterisk. You don't need to touch any of these options here or give it a name, but for the response, you need to enter the following or copy it from the description. Where you see the list of numbers, that's where you put the ID of the role that you just created. If you don't, if you don't see, see an option, option to copy an ID, ID, you need to enable developer mode, which you can do by simply going to your user settings, advanced and enable developer mode. Then you go to roles and right click, copy role ID, and then just paste it instead of the other numbers. Then all we need to do is make it so it only runs in the following channels and select your introduction channel in this case, and then click save. Now with YagPDB, it's important that it's higher than the introduction role in the hierarchy. So to do that, you go to server settings, permissions, and just drag its role above the introduction role. Then we just need to make sure that the bot can see this introduction channel. So in permissions, allow YagPDB to view the channel. So now if I go on my alt account, if we just type in the channel now, it should just grant us the role and prevent us from sending another message. Obviously, make sure that you test it on a different account because if you have admin, you'll bypass the channel permissions that you set. I've recently released a free community called Discord Mastery, which you can join now and it will help level up your Discord skills. We've got a bunch of live events, calls and is your go-to if you want a successful Discord server this year. Simply click the link in the description or go to thediscordmastery.com and I'll see you inside. The last thing we need to do is create this sticky prompt which we'll be using Sapphire for. Simply go to the dashboard and select your server and head to the messages tab and then go to templates. Create a new template which I'll call introduction sticky and then we just go to the edit section and create our embed. I have a detailed video all about embeds which you can watch here if you're unsure but once you have an embed made you just need to automate it. In the Use tab, go to Automate and create a new automation and just select the introduction channel. We then just click the dot here and we select Message matches the rejects. We then enter the rejects option full stop asterisk and then click the plus. Untick both of the options here and in advanced settings turn off the reply to message, switch the cooldown to 5 seconds instead of 30 and then we're going to enable the delete delay and switch it from seconds to messages and set that as 1. Then we just need to save and when we send a message in the introduction channel, it should then send our new sticky message. Now every time someone sends an introduction, it will continue to delete and resend. If you want to take it a step further and introduce this achievement system like this for when users complete specific tasks, then click the video on the screen now.